G'day everyone, today we're going to be checking out Dishonored, a game from Bethesda that came out way back in 2012 and recently got the FPS boost treatment on Xbox, now allowing it to run at or very close to 60 frames per second. So naturally, it feels like the perfect time to check out or revisit this renowned franchise. Known for its impressive AI and unforgiving gameplay, Dishonored encourages trial and error and many deaths are apparently to be expected before making it through each level. This, coupled with the reduced load times that the new consoles provide, I think will make for a very enjoyable first look at Dishonored. So enough chitter chatter, let's uh, jump in and check it out. You have just returned from a journey of several months, visiting the other nations in the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the right plague. You must deliver the diplomatic response to the Empress, whom you serve as Lord Protector. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Hands off line. Passing off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. All the other Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Wow. You just sometimes you forget how long ago 2012 was. <laughs> Crazy. Still, it's holding up to this day, especially with the FPS boost. I'm digging it. It's got its own little art style. the Empress, meet the Empress in the gazebo. Alright. We shall do that. Oh, what's this? Oh, you can climb on stuff? Interesting. Okay. You know what to do next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touched. Just Hello, sir. Hello. How you going? The spy master is with her, but she'll want to see you right away. Alright. Corvo, you're back. Can you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Sorry, but I have to go see your mother. Okay, go on. Uh, all right, let's see what she goes. Okay, here we go. Optional hide and seek. Meet Emily under the stone bridge. Why not, mate? Let's go. Run with me. I wonder if these <laughs> optional side objectives, you get like extra experience or something for it. Hmm. Let's see if you're so good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Oh, here we go. Press B to enter stealth mode, then stay behind cover to break line of sight with enemies to avoid detection. 
While sneaking, your footsteps are muffled. So just press B, okay? Bloody hell, she's Six, quick. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come. Let's stay here. Here? Nah, no, too good for you. There she is. Are we meant to just chill until she finds us, or...? I think we're meant to go talk to her now. Oh no, there we go. Okay, yeah, I think if I just hid there the whole time... The the game just wouldn't have progressed. Do you see any monsters <laughs> while traveling to the other aisles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them, but I think she only says that to scare me. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell, and you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the aisles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on. I'm see if we can go so talk sure to this. See you at once. Talk to this Empress over here. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens. And we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. Follow what me, news Captain. have you brought? We should leave them alone. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards! They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! To attack with your right hand or left trigger to attack with your left hand. If you have a weapon or power equipped. Press and hold right bumper to block incoming sword attacks. Perfect timing will put the enemies off balance and open them up to a lethal counter attack. Okay, here we go. Emily, get behind me! Boom. Look out! Another one! Oh, that, was, that wasn't bad. Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Uh, uh, mommy! Uh, get away! Corvo! Corvo! It's all coming apart. Find... Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo! Lord us all, look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. 
Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Dishonored. Six months have passed since we were accused by the royal spymaster of murdering the Empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter, Emily, the royal heir. Now locked away in Cold Ridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. Well, here we go. Prison break. This is your final chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. God! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Okay, well, doesn't really look like we have much anything better to do. Alright, let's, uh, let's eat. Bread. Ooh, anonymous message. Letter from a friend. Corvo. UBR is irrelevant right now, just know that we have faith in you. Here is the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. you find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck, we need you alive and well for what's to come. Okay, so, backtrack. Key, escape, stuff in the sewers, weapon outside the cell. Let's do it. Let me know if you want to take my patrol. Bug someone else. Okay, so like I said, towards the start, this is a game of trial and error. So I don't imagine I'm going to get through this first time here. So we need a key for that. How come so many people are coming to the execution tomorrow? It's on account of Corvo. The one who killed the Empress. You're out. Her daughter, Good Emma. for you. Cut hey, some throats. Kill a guard for those, will ya? Right. A social event for the high and mighty. Okay, here we go. Assassinations and non-lethal tank downs. With a sword in hand, assassinate an unaware enemy by pressing right trigger or approach an unaware enemy from behind and hold right bumper. Oh, I get it. So it's either lethal with right trigger or non-lethal with right bumper. But you can only perform non-lethal takedowns from behind. Okay. Using stealth and the non-lethal approach has benefits. Fewer rats and weepers. Some people react favorably and the final outcome is not as dark. Oh, so you can change the final outcome of the of the storyline. Interesting. You see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dog fights. <laughs> Attention. The solitary wing is off-limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance, with one week's notice. I mean, that was pretty simple. Oh, no. Stupid okay, well, he sort of saw what we were doing, so we had to take him out. Just die! Oh, what? Take Wait. That. 
off from up there. Will he come down now? Because I don't know if I can get up there. Huh, I don't know. Maybe we just keep running? Because I saw like a gun on the on the table in here. I thought I did anyway. Oh, approach a ledge. Okay, so can we lose them? Like if we... If we manage to stay away for long enough. Hold and press... Press and hold left bumper to open the quick access menu. And then B. Okay, that's a health potion. Good to know. That gave me a little bit of health back. Enough. Okay, so that's just instant health, those things. Ah, oh, here we go. Guns. Pistols pick up. A little bit of gold. And we only need one knife, apparently. Alright. So, can we... Oh, here we go. Objectives. Inventory. Gadgets. City Ratch Sword, City Watch Pistol. Upgrades, ammo. Oh well. Wow. I have a feeling we're gonna have to be we have to be very scarce with our with our ammo in this game. Okay. So do we get all that stuff? I don't think so. I think it's used instantaneously, right? Like I don't think we can we get it. No, we don't. Just making sure we're full health now, which we are. Come on, come on, mate. There we go. We only got one bullet left. Yeah, man, I'm so used to playing FPS shooters. <laughs> that is not how this game is meant to be played, I think. Okay, so there's that key that we were looking for. And this is where he was shooting me from before up here. Okay. So let's try and do this maybe a little bit more stealthy, eh? Considering we have like one bullet left. It's not a lot. Okay, next room. So far, it's very quiet. Actually, can we... Do we have a map? I don't think we have a map, do we? Maybe we'll eventually get one. Oh, I can't remember. Actually, what did he say? To the interrogation room. Yeah, okay. So we could go to the yard. Yard key needed. Okay, so we can't go to the yard. Okay. Interrogation room. Wow. Freaky. Duty officer's report covers interrogation. Corvo Atano, formerly the Royal Protector, will be brought in for interrogation. This is of utmost importance. The Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves, follow their orders without hesitation, and keep the torture under control. If Corvo dies in his hands, instead of getting the public execution the Lord Regent wants, it'll be your head that rolls next. Corvo's unconscious again. Oh, don't want to play that. Everyone's going to come running. Oh, to attract enemy attention. Interesting. Can I just drop it instead of throwing it? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Good. Good to know, good to know. There's not really anything else here. I'm very interested what I need these coins for. Oh, excerpt from a book of the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Good. All right. So we'll open this safe, right? Oh, here's the explosive that we needed. Plant the explosive. 
Whoa, here comes someone. Oh, he's leaving? Where did he come from? Hackworth, you lazy slug. Did you patrol the yard? Sorry, not yet. I was gonna report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The reports trouble the both of us. I'm moving. Is he gonna come back this way? No. Alright, we're good. Leaning around corners by holding Y and then pressing left or right on the left stick, you can lean around corners, allowing you to look ahead without being seen by enemies. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and a buy your ration of elixir from today. You always amuse me. Oh, that's pretty cool. We don't really have to take these guys out, right? Whoa. Hang on. Oh, I get it. So if I kill less people, there's less corpses lying around. And that's why there's less rats. That's what it was trying to tell me before. You know what? We don't really have to take them out, do we? We can just... We can probably just continue. Attention, the solitary wing is off yeah, limits and everything to has to be set up today. Unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Oh man, what? Must be what do I do here? With one week's notice. Can I go through here? Oh, this is where I was before. This is where I came out. True, I went all the way through there. So I just went in a big circle. Probably take this guy out now. Thank you for the money. Door control, so we're gonna have to get in here. Yeah, he was gonna. Oh, whoops. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the You just put your enemy off balance by blocking with perfect timing. Now press right trigger to perform a lethal counterattack. Alright, so far I guess not too bad. That could have gone a lot smoother. <laughs> but we're still alive. And if we have a look around, there should be a bunch of stuff here for us to, uh, to replenish our health. Yeah, definitely. There's so many things actually around. To just like munch and get our health back. I am playing this on easy mode. Oh, sorry, not easy mode, normal mode. For those wondering. Just because I've never played a Dishonored game before. Enter the hallway leading to the outer door. Okay. Uh oh. Man, I have to play this so much stealthier. Well, I just keep running in. <laughs> but that's not, this is not a game where you do that. Very forgiving though, with all the with all the health lying around everywhere. Seven seconds, alright. Oh no. Oh here we go. Oh they see me now. Do we just go down? Oh, true, they said the sewer, hey. Oh, wow, we can swim as well? Not bad. So we got 
five bullets left here. Go to the sewers? Yeah, sweet. Fugitive, you have escaped Cold Ridge Prison with the help of hidden allies. If you can reach the Renhaven River, they promise to aid you in the next move. Alright. Next area. Escape the sewers. Find the supply chest. Okay. How many people did he kill on his way out of the prison? I guess if you'll kill the Empress, you don't care about a few guards. Shut up! Look at this stuff. Somebody's been down here. Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. If we're lucky, one of them will... Oh, what the... Okay. Stay clear of the rats. Bloody hell. They don't die though. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to leave that close. <laughs> the thing is, every single person that I don't interact with is money that I'm not getting, right? Because you can loot people. And I I would assume those coins... Oh, what the? I would assume those coins that I can get off people, they're going to be used for something eventually. What do I do here? Oh, I think... Can I jump across? I can. All right, cool. See you later, rats. Uh-oh. Oh, doesn't seem like the rats are... are attacking me for some reason. I don't know why. Something over here. Journal. New note added to your journal. Okay, so I assume that's just like collectibles, that type of thing. And if you collect them all, you might get uh, an achievement or something. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this guy. health? I think we are. Don't really need anything. We could have taken a bottle to use as a distraction. What the? To load the bodies in the carts headed to the flooded district? Yeah, but screw that. That's too far. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there. Let the rats eat. You know what, we could use this as a distraction and then open the door. So we could hold one of these, throw it over there. Actually, that didn't go that far, did it? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we can't? Yeah, okay. We can't turn it if we're being if we're being eaten. So put one of these maybe over there. Alright, we're good. Go, 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 go. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. 
Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any in. cost. Oh, cool. Climb up here. We've still got a little bit of a problem, though. We can't get out the top. Can we disable this? Oh. Okay. Note to self. Cannot be disabled. Launch a disarmed incendiary bolt. Oh, what the? My god, I gotta be careful. Oh, there's another triple wire here. Alright, you know what? Let's, uh, let's use one of these potions. There we go. I wonder if we can trigger those somehow. Oh, you know what? We could probably throw a bottle at them. That would be a, a good way of triggering it, I think. Note. Oh, what was that? Oh, special equipment. Oh wait, we probably should have read that note then. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. So what did we just get here? To read the quick access wheel tutorial? Okay. Press and hold left bumper to open the quick access wheel. Select the gadget or power you want to equip in your left hand and release to confirm. Assign a hotkey to a weapon or power by pressing that item in the quick access wheel and pressing any direction. Okay, so here's all the things we have available. Incendiary bolt with the crossbow. Sleep dart, crossbow bolt. No, oh, there you go. I can put them on the menu as well, okay. Or a pistol. So depending on what we choose, it just associates that weapon with a certain ammunition. So obviously regular bullet is going to be pistol. Incendiary is down. Okay, then we'll put sleep dart up. Okay, so do we want to... Actually, I think I'm going to stick with a pistol for now. else here. Okay, moving on. Wait. Where do we have to go? Oh, through here. There we go. To slide while sprinting. Ah, okay. You know what? Alternatively, we could probably just activate them, right? I want to try this for science. Yep, that works. Okay, good to note. Jelly, in case you're too daft to remember, look to your whiskey for the answer. Okay. Combination required? Oh, whoops, that's probably in that note we just picked up. So you've had to look, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it. If you want to share, you'll sort it out. If not, come back to the next one. Okay, so what did the whiskey say? Oh, here. <laughs> now I see. Was I say four five one? There we go. Got some health, some money. Another incendiary bolt. You know what? If we can. If we can take this bolt out without activating it, we might get something extra. We'll try that next time, instead of activa activating it with a bottle. Just like slide underneath. They won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take them out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Smells like a dead weeper in here. 
Okay, drop on an enemy from above and press right trigger just before landing on him to perform a drop assassination. You won't take any damage from the fall. Oh, wow. Okay, but I think... Let me know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. Uh oh. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. I thought if I dropped it, it would just like... Okay, Keep note to self. Around, you can't just drop bottles. It doesn't work like that. Nothing here. Gotta be here alert, you worms. There is another person here though. Some rat meat. Alright, here we go. You know what? Let's uh let's try something else. We can put him to sleep or kill him. I think a crossbow might be a little bit more discreet. Oh wow, it's like it tracks onto them. Look at that. We don't really have to we don't really have to in interact with them at all, do we? We can just continue up here if we want. But like I said earlier, we're probably going to miss out on a few coins. But I don't ah, think that's that important. Okay, so different things that you find that may be worth a, a certain amount of money, it just gives you the coins for them, like this, 20 coins. Not too bad. I still want to try this crossbow at some point though, but didn't really find it that necessary. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped. Over here. Several Quickly, I'm a friend. Oh, finally. I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. I need a moment first. We don't need a moment. We can go. All right, old man. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. First mission. Hostiles killed. Civilians killed. Alarms rung. Dead or unconscious bodies found. Overall chaos, high. Okay. <laughs> so it's probably high because we sort of panicked at every single situation that we could have panicked at and decided to use our pistol. But we'll get better. We'll, uh, we'll sort of get to know how the, how the game works and how everything functions. We'll try and get that down to maybe a medium or a low. Okay, hidden. Whoa, that loaded so quickly. Did you see that? Bloody hell. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyal loyalists in a circle to learn what they've got in mind. Now this is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. They've honestly done a really good job of capturing 19th century London. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Just in case I accidentally speak over the top of someone talking, it could be something important. There we go, mission clues updated. Press to read. 
So, Samuel, the boatman has smuggled you across the river from Coldbridge Prison. Yes, thank you for that. He works for an underground movement opposed to the illegal reign of the Lord Regent and has brought you to meet the members of the organization. Oh, yes. All very... All very undercover. So we should probably follow him. Can we go in here? No. Oh, we can. We're probably going to go in there anyway. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard oh. the stories. Oh. Yes, I have. It's just... That's what that does. You can fully... You can look through the lock and, like, no listen. The real story, Trevor. Interesting. I was wondering what that we'll second message always was. was. Enter, look He's through the keyhole. But I hope he understands. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Crafting the gear we need? That sounds interesting. So that was a mission update as well. Here we go. Piero is an Im inventor who is available to craft and upgrade equipment. Piero spends most of his time in his workshop. Okay. Yeah, cool. So that's probably what we can use our coins for to get like different upgrades and through the month of rain. things like that. Stay alert and stay loyal. Oh, here he is. That was convenient. <laughs> I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work for you. I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now the tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Okay. Do we... Can we put the old one somewhere? No, we just got to get a new one. Okay, before we grab that, let's uh, let's steal some of these goodies up here. Collect all these notes here. Okay, not much more to look at. Okay, let's grab the whale oil. Put it back in. Perfect. Now plug it in. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. I actually really like how they've done that. You don't have to go through a whole different system of selling everything you find. Like going to a vendor all the time. You just automatically get the money for it. 
All right, let's have a look at what we can do here. So we got the bolts. So this is all the ammunition, right? Grenades. Oh, rewire tool allows you to rewire secretary and turn security systems to your advantage. Consumes on usage. Huh. What was dispersion and stabilizes crossbow aim? Crossbow bolts travel faster and further. It allows you to magnify your view, press to zoom. Bullet capacity. Bolt capacity, grenade capacity. Sword crossing, spring razor radius. Damn, we just don't have enough, do we? I knew that was going to happen. For all this stuff that costs 600, we're just a little bit short. Do we want to upgrade our crossbow? Bullet capacity, grenade capacity. Grenade. I feel like grenade is so <laughs> Rambo style going guns blazing. I don't feel like that's going to be the right approach here. Maybe mask optics wouldn't be too bad. To zoom in. Oh, that's it. That's everything we can do. Okay, maybe that wasn't the smartest purchase. What's this? Enables one additional bone charm to be active. Bone charm. Okay. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Okay, so we're going to sleep. So here we are. Woken up again. Probably gonna have to have a meeting downstairs or something. I'd assume. Oh, what the? What happened here? What is going on? Strange, what strange gravity? Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. Okay. Power blink. Press left trigger to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash through the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming it at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. Hold left trigger to target your destination with precision. A blue sphere indicates that you should reach your destination. A blue arrow indicates that you will climb up when you reach your destination. Oh, that's good. It's handy. So just left trigger. So we'll just climb up here. Okay. Whoa, that is cool. Does it have a does it have a cooldown or something? Or can I just always use it? Spiritual remedy. Press and hold left bumper. Oh, to drink a mana potion. Oh, okay. So it is limited by our mana. Does our mana recharge? Oh, it does. After a little bit. Okay. What is this? Everything like frozen in time.
another mana potion? Okay. I don't really understand why I need the mana potions because doesn't it regenerate? Oh, apparently not. Well, maybe it just takes a long time. Oh, there we go. It regenerates a little bit. To use blink to climb and with the ledge. Yeah, like that. Okay. We got it. We got it. So, like, a little bit of mana regenerates, but not everything? Huh. I'm not sure. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Oh, there it is. Use your blink power to reach. Hang on. The heart. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms or runes, even through walls. The heart beats and lights up when you are facing a bone charm or rune, and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press left trigger while targeting a person or location. This place is the end of all things. And the beginning. Huh. Okay. So we can go around the outside, because it's down the bottom there. Oh, it's probably going to lead us straight, straight to it here. All of time's meaningless here. Not seconds, not centuries. Double check up here. Found another mana potion. Okay. We'll put the heart back on. So can we... We can't do them at the same time, hey? Because we can only do blink or this heart in our left hand. We can't put one in the other hand. Wait, what's this? Oh, before we get in there, let's just double check over here. Because I feel like that's a, that's a point of no return. But oh, we can also go down here. Huh? You know what? Let's go down the other side. Because I want to see what these potions are. All these these things in the in the in the air. Oh, whoops. Okay. A little bit overzealous with my blink there. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit careful with it. You gotta make sure it's in the right location. Well, if I put it here, I should climb, right? Yeah, that works. Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the power section to exchange them for powers. Oh, that is sick. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Oh my god. Oh, so I don't have to visit some sort of vendor or something. I can just do it straight from the menu. That's cool. So what have we got? We got dark vision. Cost. Level 1. Level 11. Wow. Wow. See in the dark and see living thing, uh, living beings through walls, including their fields of vision. Representations of the sounds that you make are also visible. See in the dark, see living things. Like oh, okay, this is the upgrade. See useful objects and security systems through walls as well. 
Oh, that'd be pretty nice. Allow short control of animals? Allow short control of human targets. Slows time. Summons a swarm of rats. Powerful wind that can push back and knock down enemies. Health is increased. Build up adrenaline that triggers brutal melee, melee fatalities. Jump height is increased and flowing damage is reduced. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. Oh, okay, so you don't have to hide the bodies. Makes sense. All enemies turn to ash as they die. Huh. Out of all these, I honestly think this dark vision one is probably going to be the most useful. And it actually, I think it's telling me to upgrade that first. Press level trigger to see in the dark and to reveal living things through solid walls. You can also see their fields of view as well as a visual representation of the sounds you make. Level 2 shows you important items through walls like security devices, weapons, ammo, coins, keys, traps. Oh no, that's not level 11, that's level 2, sorry, it's Roman numerals. <laughs> I was going to say, it's going to take a while to unlock that. Okay, so we need two more runes to unlock that one. Oh look, all these are actually too expensive anyway. That was the only one we could unlock, you can see that. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Okay, hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have a plan to share with you. Meet with your loyalists in a circle to learn what they've got in mind. Was so that was like a dream, huh? Use the heart to find the rune near the Hound's Pit Bub, uh, Pit Pub. Sorry. Mystical whale artifact. Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three bone charms at once in the bone charms section of the journal. Wow, I didn't actually think this game was going to be so intricate. So many things to uh to think about. What do we got here? Got a feast. White rats can be consumed. What the? Okay. Won't attack you. Activated bone charms is zero out of four. May as well activate them now, considering. Considering I have as many slots available. What's this one? Powers. Powers effects slightly improved. Okay. Oh, here we go. Gonna have to have a look at all these in a second. So we know what we want to do. Let's, uh, let's whip out our, our heart for now. Here we go, Bone Charms. It's not gonna read through all this stuff. I don't really have the patience for it. I could, but I don't know. <laughs> Don't really. I want to get more into the action, you know, more into the uh, into actually playing the game. Mystical rat artifact. So, what do the artifacts do? There's something over there, hundred hundred meters away. Someone down there. Okay, so. Oh wow, interesting. So that turns it on, and now we can turn it off. Huh. Alright, let's go to our bone charms again and see what other things we have available to us. So we're using these. Damage from explosions, slightly reduced. With sword sword contest more frequently. Shot whiskey bottles explode with greater intensity. Enemies miss more often with arrows and bolts. Drop assassinations give you a bit of a... That sounds pretty nice. Breaking glass sound is moderately reduced. Swim speed, breath capacity in water. I do want to go for more of the assassination stealthy type of playthrough I think here. I tend to want to do that a little bit more in these type of games. Apart from that, I don't really know. 
Enemies miss more often with arrows and bolts. I mean, that's always a good thing, right? And if I ever get in a sword contest, this would be good. Alright, we'll do that for now. I'm sure we're going to make upgrades in the future. But for now, we're good. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile... I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Good day, Master Corvo. Could find some... some juicy stuff luring around. Oh, made a bit of money. Can I pickpocket this guy? Is that a thing? No. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? Okay, we're good. No Alright, let's get down and uh, let's continue on with our mission, I think. Lord Pendleton's great -grandfather Bloody hell, this place is actually pretty big. Wife. The story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. I think we're in the right spot, though. We're going to get down to the very bottom. Citizens of Dunwall. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The weeper count for the month of seeds has Oh my god, I have no idea where I'm going. Alright, here we go. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart. Piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal. Because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause? And strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hout Pits. Okay. So get someone back and kill the overseer. They are our two objectives right now, right? Optional, use the heart to find the rune near the Hound Pits pub. True, we was, was looking at that before. Hey, hang on. If we equip this heart now, it says over this way there's a rune. Oh, Corvo? If before we continue away. on, we'll just see if we can pick this rune up. So I can imagine they're definitely going to come in handy in the future. And we need to make some upgrades. Oh, there we go. Play with your powers. The powers you obtain from runes can be used creatively to defeat enemies or move through the environment. Link from roof to roof. Possess rats and fish. And fish? What are fish going to do? A slow time before rushing a group of enemies. Possess rats or fish? Interesting. Can we blink all the way over there? No. Oh man, this is actually really sick. Blinking around. I'd love to know how the mana works though. Because it seems like it always regenerates to a certain point and then... And then that's it. Cor... Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer, that wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me, but my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. 
Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Uh, I guess? I mean, I'll look into it. So, tasks, mission clues. Optional. Okay, this is pretty much what you just said, right? Yeah. So we got to locate em Emily and travel with Samuel the Boatman to your first mission. Can we upgrade any powers? We can. We can do vitality. Health is increased. And health regeneration is improved. It doesn't sound too interesting. I mean, health is always good in these sort of games. But I think we're going to leave leave that rune for now and maybe invest in something later. I, I really want to get this, uh, what's it called? This dark vision up to level two. I think that would be really interesting to be able to see all the security and all the traps and everything. All right, so I think this is where we're going to stop it on our first episode. We're going to continue on with uh, with Samuel to begin our first mission uh, in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you stick with me for the Dishonored playthrough, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.